Yeah. Let's see if that raw firepower of Primi is enough to carry them over the line, or will it be those set ideas that Vitality have coming into it? Early on, you're seeing it. Vitality posture over towards the B side here with a nice and early haunt. Doesn't reveal too much, and they're perfectly willing to slow it all down. Center's going to want to be looking to bait out this barrier mesh. Talon reclear. Up through B, looks like they're thinking about it. It's in the back of their minds, and they do bait out some of that utility, but Runner needs to put his best foot forward. And he does so with that opening kill. So they break the barrier mesh, force out all of the utility from Ban. No deadlock util left around. And this trip kind of stops Jit Boys in his tracks. Good nade from Governor Nut. Look how, is almost the inevitable. look how well Vitality are bleeding out utility here, and they still have nearly full breach util and paranoia and horn and boombot. Like Vitality are winning the utility game right now. Losing the map control game. Jit poised though. Jiggle Pete gets the info. Needs to back away here with a paranoia to bail himself out. Even going for the swing himself. Tacked up with a few stray bullets. Does need to play for his life here though. And Trex has been isolated, calling for the retreat as well, and regroup back up to just 20 seconds left. This is going into the stack of the Talon players. I feel like there's danger online here, but with Primi dropped, it's all navigated. Take a pair of hands. Runner himself leading the charge for the rest of his team with that three-piece. Now it comes down to these individual moments. Jit Boys, classic game, is looking sharp today, but two, not going to be enough. Bands left to do quite a lot. A lot of damage done. It's kicks and Trex, but you've got to think that discipline Vitality, yeah, contact from Trex, and if he didn't... And Vitality picking up big weaponry, Vandal, Phantom, looking to bring that into their bonus round. Another reason why Vitality have got off to such incredible beginnings in their halves. Over a third of the halves, they start up 4-0 just by winning that pistol, follow-up, bonus, follow-up. It's a big deal. Not just for the economy, obviously. I mean, it's good to have the weaponry, but ult's built up. Yeah. I think the sender's calling's very strong on this map too. So Talon, while this map has been good for them since adding Primi, and Primi on the Clove will give you big moments. You just have to wait and watch. He's much better, in my opinion, in that second in position rather than the entry, where he can trade out his teammates so consistently. So Talon are going to feel comfortable here, but sender's calling on attack side is going to look to pick him to pieces. I planted. Nice and early plan here for Vitality. There shouldn't be too much danger here for them. Stack of talent did not pay off. Just thinking about the compositions as well. It's odd for both teams. I mean, they're not playing meta stuff. These are the usual compositions that they will play on these maps. Um, but they are, you know, you've got to think that they play out differently, I suppose. The usual yeah. flow chart that we would go into, I think, talking about Lotus. You're talking about, oh, maybe that lurk control over towards A, trying to build up showstoppers for the execs. The, I mean, the showstop is still going to be a really big tool that sure. both teams rely on on their attack side, but Vitality, we have actually seen quite a few teams lean into this double initiator look on Lotus. Uh, where it's supposed to succeed on the defense side is by playing a lot of these heavy retakes. Use plant denial and then retakes to be able to build up. Trex, excuse me, and early Odin spam. Been a while since we've seen some value gain from that one, but Runner just overextending into the corner, not anticipating it. Yeah, not thinking that that was going to be coming through. Nice pickup from Cruz. Good positioning, too. We see that from quite a few teams. But you're right, doesn't normally end in a kill. Vandal, not wasted. Safe gets that one back. Very, very far away from a showstopper. Not even a single point gained for, for Safe there on that attack side. So it's going to be looking like building up towards that Rolling Thunder instead. Here you see Kicks prioritizing the orb. He's got the one with the spike as well. He's been straight past the barrier mesh, but it's bursted down at a moment's notice, and they do have this insert. Now a nade over towards B as well. It's posturing, occurring, trying to pull these players away to potentially allow Sender to get a cheeky kill, but he's just holding the space for now and takes the speed. I mean, that peak timing is beautiful. Ban had the Utilan in his hands. It's fantastic calling from Sender, that insert, go and pressure B. He's going to walk about. Take another fight. Oh, it's Primi, he's so alone taking that one, and spam through the smoke will do most of the job. Ending the round, basically, before it even begins. And this is what I'm talking about, the Vitality bonuses. They are just so good. You see that it could be set, could have been called on the fly. Either way, a bit of C pressure, break the barrier mesh as soon as it's placed, and get Sender deep. Talon don't really have that protocol to re-clear through water. That's a really nice idea. Yeah, and he's just there perfectly. There's not much that Ban can do to think about that. Yeah. Unless he's got teammates, teammates with him that are willing to flush that out. 
both teams should start to get ideas about this kind of stuff, and maybe it'll force Talon to sit back a little more on the seaside. Either that or push super aggro. But you don't want to be stuck in a middle ground where you're worried about people infiltrating you. These guns need to be held into the next if you are Talon. Of how the team's performing. Because it was a big shock to a lot of people that they ended up going down to Trace early. And of course, you know, I mean, I mean they were peaking at the right times in EMEA regionally, making it all the way to the finals. Even with a role change, too. Yeah. Right? They had to recover their season. A lot of people thinking that Vitality would be a great team, really good rookie signings. They didn't do much for the first half of the year, and they recovered that by putting Safe back onto Duelist, swapping up a few of their roles, making a coaching change. And for them to go out in groups today would be devastating for these guys. Now, truly, the expectations are much higher. But for both teams as well, I think the expectations that they've set for themselves are quite high, as we were talking about. You know, that willpower and nerves coming into effect. Frost has very high expectations. He felt that he should have won that map or match against Leviathan initially. And I don't think it's completely unreasonable. There was certainly, you know, 80% of the game where oh. Talon were playing very close to Lev. Cruise on clear. All good. Okay, still peeks out into the open there. And this Odin's pretty far away. You're watching the way that Governor's playing. He doesn't want to lose the Odin. He's playing it in quite a safe, passive spot in that BC connector. Seconds left. He may get a chance to have some damage as Vitality NB. Incredibly cautious by them. I mean, only again at the 20-second mark. They're making sure they can use full usage of the time. And they have sniffed out the successful A stack, so get the plant down safely over towards B as well. If they can string together a couple of more of these kills, it would be ideal for them. Ban still alive and kicking. Off to the side here, but they've got most areas locked down. Sender very aware, of course, the one-way propped up in front of him. And it should be a very standard job just to clean up these last players. I'm not sure the governor's even going to want to go down here. I think saving the Odin would be a priority, but he's got no ah, chance. No chance. The Brage you gearing up like they want to try and clash here with a fault line. Signaling quite a lot with the TP across. Sees, connects, and that is beautiful timing. Laid out one after another here by Talon with a season and aid. It's a big opener with Sender now gone. And a re exploration out towards Sea Mound. Doubled up, Talon. This is premium ban side by side. Going to be catching runner. Unaware. Shoulder to the side still. Runner almost adjusting in time, but this is a massive advantage now for Talon. It's all about not squandering it and letting it slip because Vitality already making calls of their own. The contact plays creeping and crawling up through and around here. Governor spotting it. Satchel is nice on either side, pushing them back. But already with crews falling, Jip Boy's forced to retreat in through the back of the side and he needs some help and support. Governor. Up and over the shoulder from that high ground. Trex with a beautiful shot. Lands it, nails it, and he wants even more. But the showstopper earned and will get a kill. Dropping Trex in the process. Kicks that last one left. Offered these easy 1v1s, and he's brought it to that 1v2. Plan will get the ult online. Another spot where Ban and Primi probably need to be getting a little active. Getting, pushing forwards. Catching kicks as he goes for the plant. This time committing to it. You see no signs of life and already right from behind. There's the backstab. Talon. They don't want to let that one slip. The beginning. I'll find you. Probably going to see more of that proactivity from Talon. I mean, the rubble fight worked out massively in their favor. It was a really good idea. You see Sender not going for the same teleport this time. No. There is some luck involved. It's Saves in. Through the B side. I mean, Governor's stunned up as well, so we can't really supplement the defense. Hold it against Nade, Barrel down to the feet. Safe is in so much danger here. And a bullet spraying away. Governor is fully aware of the positioning here, but an ult earned up. At least from the prior round. So Kicks is holding on to this roll in front of the plant down. And Sender is going walkabouts, wrapping all the way around. Talon unaware of this. And this is the danger when you're running that deadlock. You don't have that passive map control ban. Unlikely contender still wants a tango. The paranoia is good. Excellent, in fact. And the kills are being primed up. For the taking, TP for the reposition now, rolling Thunder, pushing them back in a way to defuse. We'll not be able to be stuck. And look at this from Sender, is working magic. Miracles across the map, making it so damn uncertain. Still down now, just to the one player. It's Kicks time running so damn short, it's got to be on his side. <laughs> and the shorty out, but already the round is won. Luckily for him, and Governor that's a, cannot play towards it. That's a 3v5 side. Let's get to the point now on Vitality here. Uh, Looking so damn in control of the rest of this game. This opening map, it needs to go Talon's way. Sunset for Vitality, in my opinion, 
one of their best maps, if not the best map for them. And kind of low down in Talon's map pool yeah. as well. So the choices for Talon today to ban were Icebox or Sunset. They went for Icebox. So if Talon are able to win here and win on Bind, it's a very winnable series for them. It really is. But at the moment, underperforming their expectations, their standard. And going for that three peak. How wide? It wasn't really set up with too much more util, but still plucks Sender out of that picture. You need to make plays like that when the weaponry is low. Going for the stack over towards C. Yeah, they already cleared Sender from this spot. They didn't see anybody else, and yet the rotate still comes through to five stack on C, leaving all the rest of the map open. I think that's a mistake. Whoa, what the reward is! You're talking about mistakes, man. Safe is almost getting crushed in the hydraulics of the map. And he's played a really bad game so far. I'm not just talking about the scoreboard. There have been so many moments where Safe is getting caught out. Left. Not what I expected at all for a top five duelist. Flustered opportunities. Can't squander them here. Trex is here in all sorts of footsteps. What is going on with the macro play here? The fast flank of Talon is committed with all five of them. They are, I mean, listen, understatement to say that they've lost all map control here. To plant down onto the B site, flanks on flanks. Planted. Both teams here will be wondering what the hell the other is doing. Yeah, there's so much unknown. With the Nightfall committed as well. You've got to be aware, obviously, of the one position, but it's fully avoided out wide. Talon's like, okay, there's nobody on B. They planted B, there's no one here. Yeah. Who's going to be playing this one for the post? What have they got for it? Sees, flying, but dodged. That's a shock! And one of their own as well. That util combo is nasty. No kill, annihilation. Now popped off Talon. Going for the stick in. Covering through these smokes as well. A bit of spam. We'll save the arm! And they're all ending up for it. My goodness! Damage done. Talon have got to bring this mic with the brain, but they cannot do it. It's real strange. Again, another least clash over towards the A rubber angle. Last time, Vitality were not favored in this one, so they're willing to concede it very early on. Can't get that space. Pivot by Trex, potential there. He's just trying to catch the contact with these players. Pre aim with the bullets. Trying to make as much noise on B as possible, make himself feel big as Vitality flood into C instead. Talon have not known where Vitality are trying to plant at any point in this match. Gonna be playing for that retake, missed timing here with a flash and a peek, but at least playing together in the moment. Kicks. He's gone for that plant, spam down, straight for the war for me. Off angle is nice, still being hunted down. Spray down, Sender, that was a messy one. Still granted that kill. They need a few more where that came from. Still sitting with that player disadvantage. Governor with a showstopper, but he's going to be dropped, and that's no longer a problem. Not but a reflank, Jit Boys. Off round, Trex is so damn aware. Dropped him before a moment's notice. Cruise and ban. A lot to do in this spot. Time ticking away, you can hear it, the spike, and this is going to become a problem. And the call is made already. They're just backing away, got to save some of these guns. But this is a brutal, brutal beginning for Talon, as we've already mentioned. The map pool, when you zoom out, Sunset, it's not one with their favored on. If they go down early into this series, I mean, where did, if you're losing advantage spots like that, just fumbling it here. Yeah. Bullets are flying forward towards these Vitality players. Safe's almost dropped. Another round where safe's very weak and is going to struggle to get value. Another team Lashes flash from Vitality. It flustered from both of these teams, but now there's going to be a fight taken with the showstopper in the hands of Governor. No kills to be found. Any sort of damage as well, but it might be supplemented at least. Primi, the rest of his squad going to be alongside it. Full stack of these players. Give them another one and then win the 3v5 again. <laughs> Apparently, there need to be two sacrifices in order for Vitality to win the rounds. Blood for the blood god. They're going back over towards C here. This is where the barrier mesh was laid down early on. That is going to be expiring at some point, but Ban's trying to keep that timing in the back of his head. He can hear the shots now too. So he knows for the probably the first time that Vitality are looking to end C. They're in the fight here. Gravitas is going to be held. At the same time, they actually have opportunities to go back to runner. You know, they're not full committed to C right now. Might be soon. Sensors at their back. Kicks needs to be careful of overstepping himself. He's pulled out a lot of that util from the talent players. And they're players they're looking as well. to go B. Look at the spot that Runner's got himself into. Okay. It's difficult though for Safe to get in here, even with Showstopper. He's so weak. Cruiser Spam could make all the difference. Trex is firing. This guy lighting him up. Grimmy. Exactly Chance potentially there with the ult. Not dead yet, but doesn't offer to use it here. Sitting into the fight. Now damage still done to these Vitality players, but at least they're into the post plant themselves. And the Neural Theft lighting up most of them. Talent. Feeling uncertain. Shaky territory. Even with the Nightfall as well, catching noise. Cut away from Jit Boys. One broken as well. A battle on multiple fronts. Trex is locking it down fully, entirely. Attack from Governor, but now 
Looking this way, that way, 180 direction. Not enough eyes available for him to even know which way to play it around in. And if they lose this, the series is looking so tough to win, almost impossible. And that's champs on the line for Talon, a team that did a great job of even getting here in the first place. But they can't. Want, yeah. They want to use this opportunity. Absolutely. You don't want to just let it drop and slip away. Another exit. Two matches played, and that's it. That's all you've got to showcase on the big stage. You can't have that be in the case. I think back to the beginning, we're talking about the nerves at play, at work. This match, a big portion of it feels like who is going to be able to get more comfortable on the stage faster. The vitality right now, they're in large amounts of control, safe. Opportunities for him to get onto the board of a couple of these eco kills. Door open wide, Ban can only do so much. For me, let's return that fire now into the two versus two. There, there are, are chances. chances. Yeah, there, there really are, are definitely chances here, but they can't deny the plant. And there's two Vitality. massive ultimates available for Vitality. primi has got a couple of lives available to him, but massive advantage still in favor of Vitality here. Talon are just so, I think, scared right now. The possibility that a player could have lurked behind them. You can tell, contacted most of the way into this fight. Kicks is going to be taking that contact with just the jiggle, the jump up as well. That's a punish. Primi, what a peek. Might be trying to make this one workable, playable. Smoke drop down from Chip Boys as well. Heads barely popped up and over. Safe. You have an auto play with as well. The nade up and over to Satchel through. Paranoia blinded, or well, not quite, avoided. Chip Boys though sticking this one. What is the play right now? Fight to be won. Alt bounded up against the wall, but it's already. Stay on that until the ult itself was popped. And we are straight back in here. Talent oh, yeah. looking to crunch on San. And it's a tempo increase here with the Paranoia Swat. Not a connection on the sender. He's got to try and drop some of these players, but only himself return to the sender. Van up and over here. Rolling Thunder will be sending them sky high. Trex to follow up as well. The TP from behind, Jit Boys. Only the one before the trade comes through. It's a 2v3. Damage done to Governor. A scrappy affair. But a spot now where even with the player advantage, Talon can't cover the entire map. You can't really spread out 1-1-1. One, one, one. You're just going to give Vitality too many opportunities. And they found a player. And a peek by Runner, man. He has ripped Crew's head off. And now and lock that down. This the reset. These moments where they're just slowing it down into the mid-round, contacting a lot is throwing Talon for such a loop. Yeah, I, I really love the attack macro. I think. The whole of Vitality have got this drilled into them beautifully. Talon need one of these players left alive to come up. 30 with seconds the play. left. It might just come down to these timings with 24 seconds left once more. Doubled up here. Primi. Peak timing. <gasps> just misses it. Stray shots going wide here. Kicks. I'm not too sure. He's, he's low. A single bullet to the chest will drop him. Kicks. Still going to be going for the plant, Satchel through and across, but the damage done there is Governor dropped into that 1v1 aftershock. Pushes back Primi, only for a moment here, down to it. Which player will spot each other first? And with the damage done to kicks, Primi might just be favored. Repositions, rotating around, smoke props up, just spotting each other. Bodies passing by, and Primi with the tap as well. But kicks, the issue is not forced out of him. This guy is cold with it! Cold. 92 weeks running or Winning whatever. these awards, man. He's racking them up. <laughs> it's unreal. But this is beyond dire at this point for talent. Your best outcome is looking at 9-3, and even then you've got to do it with barely any ultimates, barely any weaponry. And playing against one of the best pistol round teams we have at the tournament. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's even unlikely into the second half. Talent trying to get proactive, clearing out B, looking for that info so that they can land it in maybe an unexpected spot for the retake. If they break yeah. this trip, of course, though, eyes are going to be looking backwards. People like Runner, people like Trex. There it is. Trip's going to be broken already. Side control. Giving up and over. Vitality. And then that one. Seems to get this plant down and active. Just a slight tap as well, seeing if there's some of that utility. You don't know how many are on the flank here. You really don't. The TP as well for Rubble, just to clear that one. Talon looking to try and take this one purely from the flank and buying time and space. Cruz, Jit Boys, maybe to do some work and some damage, but Runner's going to be catching the contact here alongside the boom bot. The Horn is beautiful. Annihilation, though, that's going to be trading it. Post-mortem not to be saved on this outcome. Doors opened up, sees as well. 
Giving this one up into that 4v4. Now another TP here, but Jitboy sticking this all the way. The fuse is sticking! Running through, shot into the face! A temporary. And you've got Kicks and Tranks in that position. Two players that have been firing. They decide not to go for the aggression, though. Purely setting up. Sender and safe. Now anchoring the B site. Actually, these players, are they going to try and pivot this one? Okay, there's a paranoia primed with the door opened wide, but they don't spot any players. So Talon, what? avoid giving away information, but then throw smokes out. So now Chipboys doesn't have any smokes for another five seconds. So they can't go for any kind of exec just now. Yeah, it's not like they're running a Viper either. Another situation where Vitality have got a lot of info and Talon haven't contested them for it or made them pay in any way. And the setup is quite nice. It's a kill trip to play off out through A. Don't expect that one down close to the floor. Prowler will not be clearing it. Kick sort of jump spot as well. Not too sure if he got that information, but it seems likely, at least with the smoke now up in their face. Cruz, pull the knives away. Give safe that timing to prime that nade. Still runner out through the back of the site and he's got to do quite a bit. He's lucky not to be dead. Governor just did not clear the corner properly, even though he's inside the camera. Already that aftershot, pushing him back and away. Prowler in the face. Kicks is already in there. Getting stuck straight into the fight. Players flooding all the way through. Vitality and the team. They've got 30 kills between them. Uh oh. The rubble fight here and the force up as well. Sender oh. it's right into their faces. Damage done to him, but he's still alive here. With the paranoia flying forwards as well as team to play off all the little bits and pieces. You till down, drop in, and maybe feeding away. Primmy has done so much into that spot. Runner, it's not the last one left. They weren't expecting that. A slight overheat from Vitality there, and Primmy's happy to collect. Runner's healthy, the others aren't. And they're holding for this push as well. Runner, maybe even expecting that they were already going to be up onto that site. The slightest amount of discipline and talent are granted the tiniest of lifelines. It would be a long, long road back. This is the side, though, again, where you get that big impact out of Premier. He likes using the aggression of other players to be able to trade off them. He is top of the scoreboard, but far away from being top when you consider the players on the other side. Trex has just been a monster this entire map. He had very high peaks as well during EMEA playoffs. He certainly did. Showcasing very similar form, at least so far. For now, Vitality, down to those weaker buys as well. I mean, Kix has managed to get himself at least some sort of gun as well, just because the way that Vitality manage their economy off the back of pistol rounds, they usually keep one player just so they can buy rifles. Uh, but I doubt they'll be able to get too much damage done, just with the Spectre in hand. A tap from Governor, he's very scared of the trap play potential because, listen, every round counts. You can't afford to let anyone slip. It actually looks like a trap play on the other side of the map. You see the cam inside tree here. Potential for a long-range stun coming from kicks. There is a chance that players inside tree could get caught. The talent don't appear to be drifting in that direction. Doesn't get broken for Vitality. With all this util, flying out towards B. It's a fake though, and now they're going straight back into A. Ban will only the one before the trade comes through. Now, Vitality might just want to commit fully into this B side as well, but go and walk about as the danger zone, especially when you're up against the eco, but still, Spectre in hand. Movement ajar, they take it in another direction entirely. Pivot over towards C will be that free plant. 3v4, where two of the players actually have some weaponry to work with. Talons still have to be disciplined in this spot. Plan for Mound, they're all going to be played back there. No one on sight. They've got a couple of weapons that are good for Mound. Obviously, Governor's isn't that great, but the rest should be able to play this Mound post plant nicely. Premi, however, though, with the Outlaw, I mean, his weapon's one of the best, and he's playing pretty deep in. It's a strange angle. He has to not get caught. Yeah, up and over, but as soon as the cage has popped up as well, he realizes there's some danger there. Runner taps it, forcing out the spam. Now realizing nobody's quite on this one. Again, the gun should sail them through quite nicely. Through most remaining. of it. If the guns don't, the time pressure certainly will. And that's going to be incoming here with a rubble fight. Here, most of this. Trex doesn't go over the spam, though. Doors open wide as well. He's going to be under a lot of pressure. What a flick. Yeah, bullet tagged up. Governor just shrugs it off. Lands the bullet anyway. Beautiful first kill now for Talon, but it's all about how push past that point. Got the advantage, it's all about not dropping it. 
remember how many 5v3s they lost in that first half. Three in a row. Vitality looking to try to equalize this by taking a risk. Safe and Kicks doubled up, pushing out through B. It's where the spike is, but I think they'll just miss the timing. It's an awkward one. Runner, jump spotting. Here's the horns. Sees the bullets. You don't want anything to do with that one, but you're going to be making a call for the team. Don't give up a rubble control this whole time. Still locking it down just in case they do want to drift back into that direction. Safe is also going on. Re-exploration punished for it. Jip Boys drops him. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. That's an unusual one. Strange angle to be fighting on. Yeah. Actually, from both of those players, safe and your boys. So they stopped the 20 health, though, and now it doesn't feel like it's over towards A, but they should see this door rotating. Guns exchange once more. Time is running short here. There's no way Sender's going to be playing spoiler. Surely not. Horns broken. TP up and over. Dodging most of the nade as well. He wants to make a go of this one. This is getting cheeky. But Governor's watchful eye is on all of it. It's ruling that site with a nice iron fist. And so, runners... Once more left to do quite a bit into this spot, but unplayable really at this point in a 1v4. And Talon have done a great job here. They had that opportunity to bonus up. They decided to actually invest into Vandals. They got rid of the Guardian, got rid of the Spectre. They still had the economy flourishing. And they've knocked Vitality down. When Vitality won the pistol, that pretty much should have been game over. Straight through to Sunset, keep that momentum into your map pick, close things out easily. Textbook Valorant. But Talon are fighting. They're not just going quietly. Yeah, pulling whatever hidden was bots, flood retake. I don't really see that from Vitality in the same way that you do from the America's teams when they're playing the Breach Fade comp on this map. I think it's an area they could improve on. The runner with the only hero rifle yeah, takes down Ban early. I mean, he's the one who takes point there, hoping that players will just walk into him, and he was blessed with it. But Talon, patient. Jit Boys needs to not overheat in this spot. He can't afford to die. Okay, that's a lovely adjustment. Just snaps to the head of runner. Removes him from the fight. But the rifle will be reclaimed into the hands of safe now. Orbs farmed up. Talon trying to play towards some of these key pieces of util ultimates. And with the door open, they could be going in either direction. Nice jump spotting from Trex. Yeah. He's pretty confident now that this is going to be a C hit. Smoke fades, though. He's going to have to back off here. Still, they hear this one. Do they have any sort of protocols? Yes, they do. Satchel away. Trex He's spamming, praying that he survives here with a seize off into the back as well. Safe over the shoulder, but he has been cleaned up. Damage. Definitely done with that ghost in hand. Still, it's Talon who barreled their way over most of this one here. Now, Cruiser of the Plant will not be stuck. Premier defends though. I mean, he's pretty certain he knows what that last player is. Jit Boys. Barely there, and kills will do it. Grant it, earn it. Governor's up and over as well with a TP. That's a reveal. Want to save. They still want to take this fight straight up into their face. TP's around center. He's cutting up ankles and potentially cutting up players. Two rolling funded to set this play up. Governor had nowhere to run. Just hopping up and down into the same spot here. That's barely 20 seconds into the round. The pivot has to be played now by Talent. But we can see this trip into his face. Kicks is also holding it. Broken. He's missed the timing, though. Primmy's passed it, and he's squaring up for the fight, but not going to be giving it. Slow and steady by Vitality. Realizing that they're a player up. And they've got them relatively surrounded. There is that weak point up towards heaven. Barrier mesh up. Trex deciding not to break it, waiting for reinforcements first. Right out through here. He's trying to take point and contact. Still kicks! You cannot be dominating this! My god! A six piece available! And here and now! Goodness! Runner has got his full setup over towards this seaside. TP into spawn. Jit Boys yeah. inside the one way. It's pinged out of paranoia. Did not connect. Jit Boys still collects that kill. Runner, with him dropped, the setup is down, and his team have easy access. Satchel through alongside the flash as well. And Util flying forwards. Jit Boy cannot hold his own. Needs that backup and needs it now. Alter pops off flying forwards, backwards, this way, that way. Showstopper. It's all an abundance of Util. And enough to save the day here for Vitality. A clean sweep, unless Ban has something to say about it. All broken, but they know where Ban is. Prowler towards his back, running him down. 
racing him down. Individual fights earned and utilized, but Vitality in the end with that discipline, doubling up to seal up the map. A huge one for Vitality to take. In control the entire time. We got highlight moments, beautiful macro calling, and Safe finishes things off with the defuse. One of the biggest things that Safe said he learned this year was that it overwhelmed him when to know that his teammates had his back, that he didn't need to carry every game. And you've just seen it again. Yeah, evidence there. It's made manifest with that opening map, and it only gets better for Vitality. We're going into Sunset. Their map pick coming up next.